Hello Libra and welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is going to be a reading from the 21st through to the 28th of March. We're going to be moving into springtime in the Northern Hemisphere and autumn in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, I am going to be doing readings for the equinox and for that three month period. So um, for you, you will need to subscribe and click that bell so then you get notifications of all future readings coming up on this channel. Uh, there's also loads of links in the description below where you'll be able to see your flower, but also get links to any books that we've written uh, and also to our sister channel, which is called Cymatic TV, where we go into the vibrations according to what's happening on the sun and the vibrations of the earth and how they're affecting your chakras and your aura and how they're affecting your life basically uh, in an energetic sort of sense. We do loads of other videos on there talking about the new paradigm and stuff like that. So get down in that description uh, below. You can join us on Instagram as well where we Tanya does extra readings. We're pulling some extra cards according to the solar flares and the sun energy as it comes out through us. So, huh. The whole thing is fantastic, uh, Libra. Really good. I really love it. And then you got that tower inside you. This is the petal here, petal six in the middle here. This is uh, basically your inner being. This is your spiritual path. This is your material path. How you accumulate it in the world around you. Um, and... This is basically, let's just go through the petals quickly. This is basically your karmic lesson for this week, uh, your karmic understanding. This is how the universe is trying to influence that karmic lesson or that karmic understanding. This is how your guides are trying to influence that karmic uh, understanding. And this is how your guides are trying to influence that conversation that is within you. This is how you interact it with the outside world. And this is what's inside you. This is the same thing, but on the material side of your life. So this looks really good, uh, Libra. Last week I did a reading for you and it was looked pretty horrific. Looked a little bit like a car crash, to be honest. Then again, Capricorn was a car crash as well. So you weren't the only one. The thing that was important for you last week was learning how to be smart, play smart. And it appears to, you know, if you've taken that on board and learning how to play smart, it appears to really work for you really well. But you may feel inside you that everything has been changed. That's what you might feel like. And you're starting and really starting a new path. This equinox could be really good for you. This could be like sort of saying, OK, spring is here. I can plant up a whole new things in my garden. This is the time to do it. And to not worry about the past, because you do worry a lot, you know, uh, Libra. You worry about other people a lot. You worry about how things should be done, how they can be done. There's a lot of mental activity goes on. And I think that sort of there is, is you know, you feel like you've come through a watershed moment. It's that tower moment. I think it's mainly in the past. And you're a little bit wary of the world outside you because it's looking beautiful. Okay, it's looking really good. So on your spiritual path here, the universe is trying to sort of say to you, just go out there. You can do it. You can uh, get your recognition within you. You know, you have those victories coming up that you have been working on for some time. It seems like a real long-term plan here. And uh, the universe is trying to encourage those kudos you should be getting for what you've done. And it's got to be a fair exchange. And I think this has got to do with the tower moment, actually, of the past, in the past week or the past time. Um, it's a case of here, of realising, kind of going, if it doesn't work for me, it doesn't work for anyone. So I'm not going to bother doing it. Realising that there has to be a fair exchange. Stop giving everything away. Okay? 
And it's followed by another victory here with the Ace of Swords. This is really it's an air card as well. And it's being clear in that thinking, seeing in your future, seeing how it's going to develop, getting those, starting on a new plan, coming in really quickly. The Your guides are trying to help you along a lot quicker than you've been going over this last week or so. So it's gonna it's gonna help you progress enormously, and it's gonna be. It seems like there's a lot for you to win here at the moment. And then on the other side is the guys are just gonna bring you in nuggets of gold. That's what it is: pure nuggets of joy and happiness, real gifts from the universe. And as you combine that all together, you're gonna fall in love with not only your life but with everybody's life, with life around you. This is what it seems to be like. You're going to renew that love of living. Really good, really good reading. Um, it feels like there's a lot of victories that, uh, in, in regards to your emotional sort of side of life, that if there's a fair exchange in your in your relationships, they're going to bring you nothing but gifts from the universe. Real moments of wow, that's amazing. Let's see what's going on on the physical side of your life. OK, marrying. So making sure your physical side, you know, reflects your spiritual side, marrying the mind, body and soul. Yeah. Every aspect of you. So you can give birth to this new you, which seems to be a coming ballerina, you know, barreling down this week. It's a really good vibrational sort of reading. This is amazing. This is probably the best one I've done for you yet. I'm really, really chuffed. And the universe here is trying to sort of say to you, have complete and assurance within your emotions of how you actually physically do things. So being morally, what you do as a job will morally sit right with you. If it doesn't sit right with you, then therefore you've learned. And that's what you're supposed to be learning and marrying that body, mind and spirit. So maybe it's time to change that job and allow those companies who are not morally correct just they won't be able to employ anybody if you if everybody decided okay i'm not going to work for a certain company because they're not morally correct or they don't respect people or they don't respect the environment and stuff like that they would go out of business because they wouldn't have anybody else to work for them it, it's so simple it is it is really really simple how we could really change this world around and you apparently is part of it you're part of it your guides are sort of saying just wish and wish big by the looks of things. I would wish really big. Let you manifest really big things in your life. You know, she's a star is, is not a planet. A star is usually nine times out of ten. Um, a whole galaxy. That's why you start saying wish big. Connect yourself to the bigger picture. I want my life to be so good. In order for it to be so good, I need everybody's life to be so good. So get into that idea and you will blow them away. You will really blow them away. And it's going to empower you and make you feel so strong about yourself. So secure in who you are and what you do in the material world. If you just stand by your, um, your own kudos and your own moral compass, you know, Everyone's living different lives. So people living in, say, like the Sahara Desert are not living the same life as those living in the North Pole it, because the environment's completely different. So there's slightly different morals. So there's not a moral in the Sahara Desert about leaving the door open because you're letting in the cold. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's a, according to your morals, and I think your morals are going to be right because they're going to be based upon, you know, happiness by the looks of things and the only thing is your worry about what the world may perceive you as and i think that's going to be that tower moment i think it's a really good tower moment it's a moment of kind of going do you know what i realize it's absolutely brilliant it's you know life is absolutely great and i thought and that's that tower moment i thought life was so bad but it's not it's absolutely brilliant life is always great it's just the collective human and the people who want to hold on to power or have power over another person who make life really crappy. So 
don't be one of those people. Enjoy and explore. Let's just uh, sort of connect all of these together. Let's see what's sort of happening. The sun. This is your victory that you have your place in the sun. Enjoy it. You are allowed to enjoy life, you know. It's not a crime. Yeah. At four of cups. Uh, I think it's more of a case of you worrying that you're missing opportunities. You know. And just a warning, sort of like, don't be so stringent with yourself. Yeah. First of all. This is why down your karmic path. So it's definitely with yourself rather than the outside world. Yeah. This is going to be allow you to really live you fully within you and to sit within your knowledge, your understanding of that star that you wish for, that is right in the center of her, you know, because you've got the sun next to it, next to you as well, which is constitute as, you know, a star for someone else, surely. Someone else is looking up into the heavens and can see the sun as a little point of light somewhere, I'm sure. Um, so, yes, yeah, so this is bringing into those victories of being sure about yourself and sure about who you are, um, you know, uh, about where you're going and what you're doing. Yeah. And this could be tied into that tower as well. Realising in order to accept those gifts from the universe, you have to have the space in order to accept it. Therefore, you might have to walk. You might have had to walk away from. Life. And I think this is part of that victory. Part of that victory is walking away from something that has not, uh, that no longer serves you or no longer helps you out, basically. Okay. Let's see what's going on on the material front. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> the abundance. Everything that you could possibly need and want in on your job and everything like that. If you stick to that moral compass that is the King of Cups. King of Cups within your workplace. Yeah. Be careful. And this is this marrying mind, body, body, mind and spirit. Yeah. Be careful not to take on too much of other people's woes. And I think that's what that lesson was last week. Playing smart. Don't let you go back to the old ways. Because you'll only miss the bus and have to do all that karmic journey again and wait for that to come back round. You'll learn it eventually. But once you learn it, you don't have to keep going through it. With the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So divine counterparts for you guys. This is really good. I'm really liking this. And it's, you know, I think it's... Once you start having emotional security, that's when you can start sharing all your emotions and your, and your well-being with other people around you. And I think within the workplace or in your projects or your business and stuff like that, you're going to be able to start letting those emotions flow. And it's going to serve you within the material world, you know, within your jobs. And wishing on that star is going to, you know, within that judgment, you're going to get like, um, you're going to get that feeling of um, ascension, of moving from one stage of your life into another. It'd be really interesting to see what sort of rhythm you're on. If you're on, say, like, if you're 24 years old, 33 or 36 years old uh, and 48, these are really, this is even more powerful for you. Yeah, so 24, that's all to do with the human rhythms. I could read this through human rhythms, which I'm thinking of doing next week with Tanya. So subscribe and click the bell because then you'll be able to see this. To have these notifications for these new videos coming up and it will help to explain a lot of things in your life that you can't explain all through cards okay um so let's just uh, connect your spiritual path and your material path to your here and now four of ones you're gonna get married are you getting married is that what you're gonna be doing on the long haul this is commitment to something this is commitment to a new paradigm. This is really good, Libra. This is really good. It looks like you're, one of those gifts is just pure love, basically, that you can enjoy fully. And you can, through your strength, you can manifest it. You can manifest it all if you want. You could sell 
all those books you've written, you can manifest it if you just say it out loud and do it. Okay? Because you're really good at manifesting. You know it. You know it. Let's just see what the energy is coming up through you for the coming week. Ten of Cups. This is a, this is a stonking reading. This is a stonking reading for you, Libra. Ten of Cups. It's going to obliterate that sensation of tower moment next week. It looks like it's going to be really joyful for you. And the Queen of Wands. Pure passion and living the here and now. That is just so good. I'm so pleased for you, actually, after last week's reading, which was pretty, as I said, there's a bit of a car crash. Um, I'm glad it sort of, things have really turned into your favour now, which is really good. Anyway, Libra, don't forget, once you've subscribed and clicked that bell, you can go and explore all those uh, links that we've got in the description below. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.